Introduction to Nursing Concepts Medical Terminology, Medication Administration Unit. This is Martha Olson from Iowa Lakes Community College. As we look at some of the terms that go with the medication administration, bio seems to come up. As we look at bio, it's a prefix meaning life, living organisms, living tissue. You take biology. Biotransformation is the metabolism of medications within body chemicals and enzymes that cause that to happen. As we look at D, which is used very often with our medical terminology words, it's a prefix meaning reversal of or without. To detoxify or break down a medication during metabolism is to detoxify. We break it down. We often talk about the liver being that organ that helps detoxify and get rid of uh, poisons or toxins in the body. Intra is a prefix meaning within. We use intra many, many times in the medication administration unit. We go intradermal, meaning just into the skin. Those are usually your insulin administration. Intramuscular is down into the muscle. That's a faster way to get medication to start being absorbed. We use the intramuscular quite often in the clinic when we need to get an antibiotic on board a little quicker for a, a person that's going to go home. Intravascular is typically used in the hospital. It's going in the vessel. It's going into the vein and then we can give medications right into the bloodstream. Works very, very quickly. Intraocular is into the eye and intracardiac is actually right into the heart. And that's a pretty scary one. So when we look at injections to the tissue, the first one you see with uh, the arm is an intramuscular. For the upper extremity, we use a shorter needle because you have a smaller muscle mass than if you would uh, give an intramuscular into like the, the thigh, the vastus lateralis. The picture on the right is an intradermal. You can see the bleb or that wheel that is um, being created because the medication is so superficial that it, it blebs up. It's just barely under that epidermis and usually uh, the medication given that way is either allergy shots or uh, probably the one you're most familiar with is your MANTU or your TB test. Opto is a combining form for eye and so when we have ophthalmic medications we know that they go into the eye. As you can see uh, we don't want to drop that medication right onto the uh, eyeball itself. We want to get it into that lower conjunctival sac. So an ophthalmic medication always needs to be labeled as ophthalmic or it could um, damage the eye and the vision if it was not intended for the eye. Poly is many or much and as we look at the medication unit polypharmacy is a consideration. How many medications is a person on? Is it too many? Poly meaning many, we also see that like uh, with diabetes when we talk about the three P's of a diabetic. Polyuria which means to void often or much urine. Polyphagia which is to be hungry all the time and polydipsia is uh, to be thirsty all the time or much thirst. And those are all symptoms of diabetes that help us to um, know that we need to test them for it. Sub means below, underneath, or less than. As you see in the picture with the tongue, that is a sublingual. It's usually a, a medication that we want to absorb very quickly. The tongue is very vascular. The most common medication given that way is a nitroglycerin. And so when we look at sublingual, it's below the tongue. It absorbs and gets into the bloodstream and starts working very quickly. We can also do subcutaneous which is insulin is given into the fatty tissue so that it absorbs slower. We want it into the fat so that um, insulin works for a period of time to help control the blood sugar. Submandibular would be below the mandible and subacute means uh, not as acute. So if a patient is maybe on a skilled level of care or not quite as ill, they're subacute. Trans is very often used in the medication unit. Transdermal, as you can see from the picture, is across the skin. Um, transfusion is to give blood like a blood transfusion. Um, we have translocation, meaning you move from one place to another. Transrectal is usually a, a test they do back in uh, the radiology department, as is transurethral. They're scanning or going across those uh, parts of the anatomy to find um, 
where the problem is or what they need to fix. The transverse colon is the picture that you see on the bottom right corner. Transverse uh, colon is the one that goes across uh, the abdomen and helps to form uh, that large intestine. Transverse fracture is also used to say across, so it's a fracture that goes all the way through a bone. And then we also see trans in something like transportation. It takes you like across town or across the country if you were using transportation. Peak and trough is used with the medication unit. Peak is the highest point. You think of Pikes Peak out in Colorado, and it's a very high point in, in that state. It's when the medication is at its most effect working in the body. And trough is just the opposite. It's when that medication drops to its lowest level of concentration within the body tissues or the blood. Um, so these two words are directly opposite of each other. And we oftentimes, for many medications, to make sure that we are staying therapeutic, we draw a peak and trough. We draw the medication half an hour after it's been given to see how high the level gets. And then just before the next dose of medication, we draw a trough or we draw that blood level again to see how low does that level get when they haven't had that medication for a period of time. We use that a lot with antibiotics. We also use that peak and trough in looking at uh, some of our seizure medications because if they don't stay in that therapeutic range where they have enough medication on board to prevent the seizures, uh, they can have a breakthrough seizure at that time. Hypo means below. When we look at the medication unit, you might have a, a hypoglycemia attack. And as you can see from here, a person with hypoglycemia has a headache. They're sweaty, shaky, might feel hungry, dizzy, confused, crabby, or grumpy. And so hypo means below. These are the terms then for our uh, unit on medical terminology for med administration. Uh, the pictures came from Google Images and the words came from our Potter and Perry book uh, that you can anticipate to see in this unit. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.